Hello and welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, from the 2013 Bauer Showcase here at Prosper Center in Chilliwack, British Columbia. We're recapping the entire three days here on the show. It's going to be a very busy show. First, we're going to pass things off to Nick Bowden, talking to Brad New Player, who scored the first goal of the 2013-14 season. I'm here with captain of the Penticton V's, Brad McClure. Brad, you scored the first goal of the 2013-2014 season. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Get the first one on your belt and get the team up early. And speaking of first one on your belt, you're also 1-0. You guys had a hard-fought victory over the Victoria Grizzlies, 2-1. How does it feel to be able to put that one in the books and start things off on a on a, the winning side of things? Yeah, you know, they're a great team, and I think we just stuck to our, our systems and... Uh, battled through till the end and came out on top. Now what did you do during the offseason to prepare for this season? I mean you guys came out flying in this first game. Yeah I know all the guys have been training and coach, uh, assistant coach has been training us too. We all came a bit early and we're training with him and I think that's uh, shown in this first game. And now you guys have a big turnover over from last season. You guys lost a lot of players who aged out, went on to college commitments and whatnot. What do you think of some of the rookies? How are they adjusting to this tempo and the speed of the junior A game? Yeah, we got a good rookie class this year. You know, there's a lot of smart hockey players, and they're able to uh, adapt to all of our systems and plays that we do pretty easily. So it, it makes for uh, pretty good hockey. And can you talk a bit about your goaltending? Two brand new goaltenders. You guys actually face your former backup goaltender, Nick Renyard, who now plays for the Victoria Grizzlies. Your starter today, Oliver Mantha, he got his first win in the season. What do you think of the goaltending tandem for this season? Yeah, you know, Ren, Renier's a great kid, and he's a good goalie, too. And I think we're happy to have the goalies we have this year. And I think it looks like uh, we're going to have a good year, and they're going to be able to stop some pucks for us. Thank you so much, Brad. Yeah, thank you. Great, thank you, Nick. Brad Buclair, of course, scoring the first goal of the season to kick off the season from the Penticton V's. Early on the weekend, I got to speak to the BCHL Commissioner, John Grisdale. Take a look. The Bauer Showcase, the second annual, what does this mean to the league? Well, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very important. Uh, the purpose of the showcase was, uh, is to showcase our players, uh, no pun intended, and, and provide them with the ability to play in front of a lot of scouts. And then the second big uh, issue, uh, item is that the scouts get to come and see all of our players in one location over three days and two games for each team. So it's a benefit both ways. Uh, and, uh, and an early look for everybody at the league. I mean, we're two games in right now. We've seen scouts from the Anaheim Ducks, the Edmonton Oilers. Why are such big name scouts coming to these games? Well, you know, we had seven players drafted last year to the, from directly from the BC Hockey League, and uh, you know, well over 200 in in the time the league's been operating. So there's always a diamond in the rough uh, that you know they like to look at, get a get a, an early view of who they want to follow uh, during the year. And again, that's the benefit of having this so early. Uh, now, will the Bauer Showcase be the home of Chilliwack, or could it be moving? Well, no, certainly Chilliwack, in these two years, has done a phenomenal job. It's a perfect location, a marvelous city. We've got a great host uh, in, uh, in the Chilliwack Chiefs, and, and the, but not only that, the host committee. The city takes a very, very active part in, in uh, you know, helping us, uh, securing rooms and all that sort of stuff. So. Uh, you never know, but uh, you know I think some of them, uh, communities would love to have it. But right now we're we're happy to be in Chilliwack. And John, the the BCHL playoff format has changed again. How's it changed? Well, you know it, it changes uh, almost yearly in our league, and one of the issues has always been uh, the travel and across the water because ferry, a two-way ferry for a bus is just under twelve hundred dollars, and um, so it, it's it's expensive. So teams want to. It costs so much to travel, they, they try to uh, uh, move it around. But pretty much uh, the same in the sense that 12 teams out of the 16 will make the playoffs. Uh, then you get down, uh, the first two rounds will be within the team's own division. We have three divisions. And then uh, we end up with three winners, three divisional winners. So how do you pick a, you know, a fourth? And, uh, and so we're going to have a round robin, uh, two home, home, two, uh, uh, each team will play four games and the top two teams will move on the Fred Page Cup final. Wow, okay. Uh, and the BCHL has 16 teams currently across British Columbia. Is there room for expansion in the BCHL? Well, we were going to expand last year into Wenatchee, Washington, and uh, got right down to the last uh, strokes, uh, and it didn't happen. But uh, there's nothing in the books now. Uh, our expansion deadline yearly is the 15th, or the 1st of December, uh, uh, and uh, that hasn't approached yet. But, you know, we pretty much exhausted uh, a lot of the communities in, in uh, in BC and we'll just have to see where it all ends up. 
Again, a big thank you to BCHL Commissioner John Grisdale for the interview. As time passing, it's over to Nick Bazner who's interviewing David Pope, who is drafting the fourth round of the 2013 draft pick for the Detroit Red Wings. I'm here with David Pope of the West Kelowna Warriors. David, you were picked in the fourth round by the Detroit Red Wings in the 2013 NHL entry draft. How does that feel? Uh, definitely a really exciting experience for me and my family. And, uh, you know, it's just another step, uh, you know, towards be becoming a pro hockey player. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm just really excited. Can you talk about where were you when you heard the news and what was the reaction around you? Uh, I mean, my folks decided to stay home in, uh, in Edmonton. Uh, you know, my, my sister came up from Calgary, so uh, we were just sitting in the living room and uh, actually my advisor gave me a call before I'd even seen it come up on the TV screen. So, uh, you know, my dad and my mom and my sister were all jumping up and down with me, so it was just a surreal experience and uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, what is the mindset coming into the season? Of course, having that great elation at the 2013 NHL Entry Draft, knowing that you were picked by one of the teams, the Detroit Red Wings, has that lit a fire inside you to be better and continuously improve to make that team? Uh, I think so, for sure. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a standard I want to work towards. Uh, uh, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I just got to play my game, and uh, you know, competing hard is the number one thing I need to do. So, um, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, you know, playing for Detroit would be a dream someday, but uh, you know, it's it's definitely a process. And what did you do during the offseason to, come, pardon me, to prepare for this coming 2013-2014 and the BCHL season? Uh, pretty much just training five days a week and in the gym, and uh, you know, that's one of the things I really need to work on. And and uh, you know, I do some power skating and you know, uh, work on my hands and just stay fresh on the ice and and uh, you know, take a little bit of time off with the family and uh, go to the cottage for a week or so. But uh, mostly, uh, mostly in the gym and, and just getting ready for this year. Thank you so much, David. I look forward to seeing you wearing a Detroit Red Wings sweater in the future. Thank you, Nick. Earlier this weekend during the Bauer Showcase, I got a chance to speak to Roy Stasiak, a Toronto Maple Leafs Western Scout. Take a look. I'm joined with Ron Stasiak, the Western Scout for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Why is this event so big for scouts, Ron? Well, it's a good chance to uh, see everybody in uh, one locality and, uh, you know, see who's done the work over the summer. And for the scouts from the amateur side, it gives us a chance to review some of the guys that we looked at last year, see how far they progressed, as well as look at some of the first-time draft-eligible players. So is it better for a scout to do an event like this, the beginning, middle, or end of the season? Well, probably the uh, at this time of year, just so that you can start a database and now you have a baseline and you have something in terms of a frame of reference to see how far the players do advance over the course of the year. As a scout, what are you looking for in hockey players? Well, I think everybody looks for uh, skill and that starts with skating ability and then, you know, your puck skills, your hockey sense, positioning. And then, of course, if you can throw size into it, that's great. But uh, first, uh, first and foremost, it's obviously skill. The way the game's played nowadays, a lot of speed, and you have to be able to handle the puckets with a lot of speed and make decisions very quickly. So if you can add those components with some size, it makes for an outstanding player. And not to put you on the spot or anything, but is there any outstanding players so far you've been watching? Yeah, I, I think there's uh, probably at least uh, 10 players that we have our eyes on right now. And uh, there again, we'll monitor them over the course of the year. And, and at the same time, the older players have a bit of an advantage because they've been through this. So some of them look very good and that's where you want to be careful and don't get fooled and make sure there's still some room for growth with them as well. Great, thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you to Roy Stassenach for the interview. He's the Toronto Maple Leafs Western Scout. We're going to quickly update the entire weekend here at the Bowers Showcase. Uh, to kick the event off, Penticton beat the Victoria Grizzlies 2-1. Brad Buclair scoring the first goal of the season. Mayor beat the Express 5-2. Langley beat the Trail Smoky Eaters in overtime 4-3. Surrey got the shutout 3-0 against West Kelowna to finish the day off. In day number two, Surrey was on the other end of the stick, losing to Vernon 7-3. Victoria beat the Salmon Arm Silverbacks in overtime 5-4. Roy McGuire scoring the game-winning goal. Clippers beat West Kona Warriors 6-5. Penticton Bees beat the Alberni Valley Bulldogs 3-2. The Capitals came back to win against Spruce Kings 4-3. And the other day, the Power Kings beat the host team, the Chillac Chiefs, 6-1. And the final day of action, the Power Kings beat the Salmon Arm Silverbacks 5-1. The Express beat the Alberni Valley Bulldogs 9-4. And the Nile beat Prince George 3-1. Trail beat Cowichi Valley Capitals 6-2. Langley beat Merritt 1-0. And in a tie, ending a tie, Vernon and Chilliwack 1-1. Thank you for watching this edition of BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. Keep it locked to your right to VSPN.ca for all your local sports needs or follow us on Twitter at BCHL Central. Have yourself a fantastic night. See you later.